So let's start out here. So groups and layers, what are they? So layers, just as a brief example, are commonly used in CAD to organize models. That's sort of how they started. Uh, and then it got transferred into FE as well. And their best use is for modeling geometry and mesh. They're really great for organizing those type of things and um, you know, can be real powerful there. Groups can also be used to uh, model geometry and mesh. They are pretty versatile. Uh, there are some some significant differences, and their best uses are actually in solving and post-processing results, but they're pretty versatile and can be used all over. So, so some similarities between groups and layers. So both groups and layers can be con can control the following behavior from the model tree. So you can you can control visibility options, you can create groups and layers, renumber, delete, rename, all of that can be done from the model tree. Um, also display options are very similar. You can display all single multiple, uh, there is additional option for groups, which allows you to display the active group. Uh, and then finally, graphical selection. So uh, basically, you're limited to whatever entities are displayed in your current uh, window. And in a side note, and this kind of applies for everything, is when you click the Select All button in the Entity Selection dialog box, it's not actually a graphical selection. So it's just going to go ahead and grab everything in your model. Um, so be aware of that when you're working with things. So some of the main differences are actually kind of mainly how you assign entities and of course some of their abilities, but you know, how you assign entities in groups. So in groups, entities are assigned by rules such as entity ID or the entity's relationship to one another. And uh, entities can be assigned to multiple groups. It has the option to add new entities to the active group, no groups or selected group. Uh, multiple groups can be combined. Groups have automatic generation tools and uh, something called reference groups as well, which are kind of like groups of groups. Um, layers, on the other hand, can be automatically created when importing step or parasol geometry files. Again, that goes back to CAD, having kind of used that in the past, so you can bring those in and already have a pretty well-organized model. Um, uh, and as opposed to groups, entities can only be assigned to one layer. So when you put it on that layer, that's where it lives. You can't, you know, you can't be in the, uh, you can't have the same uh, parts in another layer. And then new entities can only be added to the active layer, and we'll kind of show you that here in a second. <clears throat> 